Hey Curious and welcome back. It seems that love is in the air and what better way to enjoy this feeling than in an intimate and almost clandestine way. And this seems to be becoming a more and more frequent thing in the world of show business. Long gone are the days of allowing magazines such as People to get an inclusive scoop. But speaking of weddings, did you know that Ariana Grande got married in secret this weekend? Why has the singer chosen to have the ceremony with only a select few knowing about it? Who were the guests at the event that surely many would have loved to attend? What are speculations surround the new marriage that makes even the biggest gossipers say, what? Was it an impulsive decision or was this all planned? To find out the hottest from the Grande Gomez wedding, stay with us until the very end. But before we continue, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. We will start this episode with the exact description that the representative for a newlywed singer gave in a recent interview with People magazine. Talking of the publication, they said, It was tiny and intimate, less than 20 people. The room was so happy and full of love. The couple and both families couldn't be happier. Although curious, if some of you have been keeping up with the news on our channel, not that long ago we did an episode dedicated to the singer's secret boyfriend, who today can call himself the husband of Ariana Grande. So it seems that Ari decided to stop looking for love in the music industry. Thinking of her past relationships, some of you might only recall her dating two guys, Mac Miller and Pete Davidson, but here you'd be wrong. One of her first talked about relationships was with her backup dancer Jordan Viscomi in 2011. The relationship had lasted almost a year and it is believed that he was the one who broke up with Ari because according to the singer herself, in an interview for Just Jard, her heart was broken into a thousand pieces after the separation. The relationship of Jordan lasted about a year but some of you surely know what long distance relationships are like. What do you think about them? Do you have good experiences? But for now, let us jump to the one of the longest and most influential relationships that Ariana was in. That of course was with the late rapper Mac Miller. After that stormy relationship that was constantly in the media, she broke up with him and fell in love with Pete Davidson. And curious, as you know, they broke up too, and this brings us to now. If you want to know more details about her past loves, then you can check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. But for now, make sure you stay with us as we're going to talk about the tremendous news that stunned her fans, and that is this secret wedding. That's right, Curious, if you were left with a shocked look on your face, as many people were when they read the news, thinking, what, when and where, then this video is perfect for you, as we have all the information. In fact, we have a video related to their relationship and speculations about their engagement. Although the couple first made their relationship public with the release of Grande's song, Stuck With You, on which she worked with Justin Bieber. In the clip for the video, Ariana and Dalton are seen dancing together to the song. It hasn't even been that long since Ariana Grande announced that she and Gomez got engaged in December. But let's also remember that she was previously engaged for four months with the current boyfriend of Bridgerton star Phoebe Denville. And speaking about the hit Netflix show, why not check out our video where we tell you what the second season could have in stock for the characters involved. So make sure to stay with us for now to learn all about one of the hottest celebrity weddings. This would be the second engagement for Ari. In 2011, the artist intended to marry comedian and Saturday Night Live cast member Pete Davidson, with whom she got very brave and took the decision to announce her engagement after only a few weeks of dating. However, the celebration was short-lived as only four months after the announcement, Ariana had ended the relationship. It was news that had made some of the couple's fans very happy, and it coincidentally coincided with the passing of her ex, Mac Miller, who lost his life on September 8th, 2011, due to excessive consumption of illicit substances. And so, this wedding with her current partner took place two years after she announced her engagement to comedian Pete Davidson, who had made a series of heated and intimate comments regarding the singer, but comments that, of course, Ariana did not even take into account since our pop star celebrated her special day with her now husband, Dalton Gomez, in a small and intimate wedding ceremony. The 27-year-old American singer had tied the knot in front of a fewer than 20 spectators last weekend. The news had flooded social media, and we say this because there were some skeptics who still cannot believe it because there is no evidence of this on any of the social media of the couple. However, it should also be noted that they had always kept their relationship very discreet and out of the scrutiny of the press. It is worth mentioning that this time, Ariana has handled her new relationship without giving many details of it, not even sharing much on her social media, which was completely different from how she handled her relationship with Pete Davidson. The preferred place to celebrate this union accompanied by the families of both the bride and the groom was in the singer's mansion, which is located in Montecito, California. Her humble abode is also estimated to have cost about $6 million, according to reports from various media. 
The information about the ceremony was reported by TMZ, but we know there is more with regards to the place where the singer lives. The aforementioned area is a hotspot for celebrities and very wealthy people who call Southern California their home. It is where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex also live. And just in case anyone around here doesn't know who Dalton Gomez is or where he came from, well, he's a Southern California native and has been working most of his short but successful career in luxury real estate for the past five years. Ariana has been dating Dalton for a little over a year and in fact they spent the entire quarantine together. So maybe for this reason they realized that they were really fit for each other and living together for about a year had surely helped them in making the decision to make the big step. The family of both the bride and groom were very happy about their engagement and a source told People magazine that Ari's family really loves Dalton. Ari's family is very happy. Everyone loves Dalton. It's great for Ari that this stage of her life has been very smooth and uneventful, in a good way. They are very happy together. So curious. It all seems to be beautiful and very real fairy tale. And we know that we're probably not the only ones checking social media every now and then to see any pictures of the wedding, but there are still none on their pages. But we'll most certainly be keeping an eye out for them and keeping you all updated. But regarding the speculation surrounding the surprise marriage, it is also said that Ariana and her husband decided to have this exclusive wedding in a moment of impulse. In fact, it is said that they only swore eternal love, so it is not known if this union has any validity before the church or the law. But curious, do you really think it is necessary for people to invest in extravagant weddings? Well, the reality is that a lot of people want to show off, but what about this couple? The ring that Dalton has proposed with is estimated to have cost between $200,000 to $250,000. But beside the price tag, the ring has a very important meaning for him, since the pearl that is next to it was a legacy of his grandfather, a piece that was added to the huge diamond. It can be assumed that the two have genuine feelings for each other, but of course, there is always the other side of the coin. According to ET Online, people in Grande's intimate circle are not convinced that the wedding is the best step for the couple, as it has been too hasty and they are skeptical because they think the relationship will not last for long. But what do you think? In fact, the artist's friends think that they have not been together long enough to have made a decision to have said yes to each other. According to what they have expressed, it is that the life that awaits them is nothing compared to the time they spent together in quarantine. They had also pointed out that due to being stuck at home thanks to the pandemic, Gomez has not had a chance to get a taste of Ari's fame and they think the constant scrutiny online and constant harassment from the press, not to mention the paparazzi, might be too much for him to handle. In short, they do not have faith in this union. As we mentioned, among the speculations surrounding the new marriage is that it was only an oath without the presence of anyone officiating, therefore not making this a legally binding union. So if that is true, then the couple does not have any papers that state that they are married. According to sources in Ariana's inner circle, it could be so that their relationship was to end, they would not have much to lose. Anyway curious, that is all we have for now of Ari's famed secret wedding. There is one thing we are sure of and that is that Ariana now wants to keep a low profile regarding her love and relationships. What do you think Curious? Do you think that Dalton Gomez is a good match for Grande? Will they be a couple that can survive all the speculation around them? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Until next time.